Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, I wanna share with you an awesome blues groove. We're gonna dive into how to play dimples as recorded by John Lee Hooker on guitar. Now there's really two parts you need to know. There's just a vamp on an E chord, just one chord, and then there's actually kind of the form of the song which follows an eight bar blues chord progression. I'm gonna break it down for you step by step, but if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away before we dive into the lesson. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that shows you the five chords and scales that I use for mapping out the entire fretboard. And this is so useful if you want to learn songs faster, and if you also want to learn to improvise or play cool bluesy fills off chords like what I was doing at the beginning of this video. So you can grab it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or I made it easy for you. Just click on the first link down below and you can download it right there as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so we're gonna start off with what I call the form or that eight bar blues, and then make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna dive more into the lead stuff as well. But basically the form starts off with this groove on an E chord or an E7 like this. <laughs> So a couple things about this. One, I'm not using a pick. If you watch John Lee Hooker, a lot of the times he's just using like a brushing technique with his thumb and his index. So that's sort of what I'm doing is my thumb is playing the downs and my index is playing the ups. Now I'm gonna start on this E7 chord. And it's a way that a lot of the blues players played E7, but it's a little bit more unconventional. And that's where you cover two strings with one finger here. So the E would look like that. And then you can add the pinky for the seven. Now, if that's too hard, that would be open two, two, one, three, open for the frets there. Could play it like this. Actually, that's kind of harder for me. Um, or you could just play, a lot of people do this, they play just the top four strings, which would be two, one, three with the pinky there, so middle index pinky, and then open first string. And then you sort of just lean over and mute that fifth string, and that's gonna sound like that. So we're gonna start by hitting the low E bass note, and then we'll do an up strum on that E7 chord. One, and two. One and two, so thumb, up strum. And then we're gonna rest on beat two, one and two. Then on the and of two, we're gonna play the second fret of the fifth string, then open fourth string, second fret. And that's two and three and four and, so those are quarter notes there on beats three and four and, one and two and three and four and... And that's the first groove that I want you to learn just over that E7. And it's so cool just to play that. You got a great groove right there, John Lee Hooker style. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Again, we got a swinging shuffle feel to those eighth notes, which is one of the most common rhythms I talk about in the blues all the time. So start with that and keep in mind that John Lee Hooker doesn't play the same thing throughout the whole recording. Like that's just a sample groove that is one thing that he played, but he really kind of riffs with it and mixes it up. But it's all just an E7 and then like little licks like. There I'm just using a couple notes from the pentatonic scale, which you can learn about on my fretboard guide. Grab it at the first link down below. But that's gonna be your E7 groove. And we're gonna play that for four bars or four times. So one and two and three and four and second time. Third time. Fourth time. Okay, we're halfway through it. Then we're gonna go to 
call the four chord an A7, and this is gonna be played from the fifth string down. Open, two, open, two, open. Now here we're gonna just do more of a strumming approach. I'm gonna play first just the bass note, the fifth string, one, then strum two, three, and four. And that's thumb, 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 index thumb with the finger picking hand here. Then we're gonna do the same thing, but we'll change now to what we call the five chord, which is a B7. And that's played from the fifth string down, two, one, two, open two. So those two bars go A, two, three, and four. B, two, three, and four. Then we essentially go back to the E7, but we're gonna play this fill. We're gonna go. So that's the sixth string, then the second fret of the fourth string, fifth string, second fret, then open fourth string, twice, then two, zero, so one, and two, and three, and four, and and then in the final bar, we'll go second fret, and then two, three, that's just the second fret there of the fourth string, and then down, down, down. So the last two bars basically on that E7 go. And then the last four bars coming from the A7 to B7 go. So there it is, that's your eight bar blues chord progression, which happens when John Lee Hooker is singing. That is the form of the song. So I'm gonna put it all together slowly for you and let's try and play it together. Get set and I'll count us in. A one, two, three, four. Seven. Riff. All right, so as I mentioned, that is the form and that's when John Lee Hooker is singing. Then all the other times throughout the tune, you're just jamming on an E chord. And I'm gonna use that E7 or that blues E7 I mentioned earlier. And here's a few variations that you could play. One, two, three, four. So here I'm starting on that E7. I'm just playing the low bass note, then a strum on the second beat. One, two, then do it again. Bass note up strum on three and. So one and two and three and four. And then the and a four, one final up strum. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two. Then I'll just drop my hand on the strings. One, two, and then play this lick. And that's just second fret of the fifth string, open fourth string, two, open, back to the second fret of the fifth string. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and repeat. Another variation on this groove, which is like how the tune kicks off, could sound like this. So here I'm playing a very common blues lick, sliding from two to four on the third string, then grab the third fret of the second string, then slide back down four, two, zero, with a pull off there. Then two, zero on the fourth string with a pull off. Just a great blues lick to have in your bag of licks. Then we'll go one, two, three, and four. And, and that's the same E groove we used in the previous example. So one, and two, and three, and 
four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. So have fun practicing those John Lee Hooker grooves and check out the song Dimples. Try and play along for further practice. And to help you glue all of this together even more, be sure to grab my fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna help you make that connection from the chords and the scales and start seeing how these licks can come together on your fingerboard in a simple system. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and for more blues guitar, you should check out this video next.